Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, deploy a crypto trading bot on the Cordensi platform. They have actually revised and updated their Bollinger Bands automated crypto bot to version 3.1. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with Quadensi, they are an all-in-one trading platform that allows you to connect your exchanges directly to their platform via API keys. And therefore, your money never actually leaves your exchange. You don't send money to Quadensi. It stays on your exchange and they execute trades on your behalf via your API keys on your exchange. So your money is as secure as it can be when it's on an exchange. And the main feature we'll be looking at today will be one of their crypto trading bots. Now, if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually get started for free. They have a light package and that will allow you to get started for free. And the bot I will be deploying today is available to that free light package. However, you can actually get the pro plan, which is normally $49 a month for free as well. And I will drop a link down in the description. And if you use that link and connect one of their partner exchanges, you can actually qualify for the free pro account for either three months or six months, depending on whether you open a new account with one of their partners or just simply connect an existing account from one of their partners and those partners include aax binance uh, liquid okx and qcoin today i'll be deploying the bot on the qcoin exchange and since i already had an existing qcoin account all i had to do was connect my qcoin account via api keys and I received three months free of the pro account. I can also connect my Binance account and I would get another three months free just for connecting my Binance account. Or I can open a OKX exchange account and that would actually get me six free months for just opening a new account. So use that link in the description down below, connect one of these partner accounts and you'll get a free pro plan. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to actually configuring the bot. Now, after you have signed up and have connected an exchange to the platform from the tabs across the top, you would select bots and that would bring you to the page of available bots. Now they offer simple bots and they offer some more advanced bots. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the simple bots and they've actually updated the MACD, the mean reversion, and in this case today, the Bollinger Bands bot, they've upgraded to version V3.1. And so I just simply select the Bollinger Bands bot, and I would start from the parameters tab. And of course, the first thing I need to do is actually name the bot. In this case, I named it Recon BB for Bollinger Bands. I selected my exchange from the list of exchanges I have connected to the platform. And then I need to select my API keys, which I named Qcoin V2. And then my market, I can type in whatever pair I want to trade. But today we're going to be doing dot USDT. And then it will tell you how much USDT and dot you have. You don't actually need to hold any dot in this case because the bot will be buying dot and so i need to give the bot some ammo in the form of my starting capital will be 500 usdt and next is the actual strategy settings and so i want to choose a candle time frame and you can choose anywhere from one minute up to daily in this case i'm going with the one hour and the rest of the settings have to do with the bollinger bands and if you're not familiar with how this strategy would work it actually is based on the popular Bollinger Bands indicator and it buys when the price is below the Bollinger Bands and sells when the defined exit condition is met. And so there are a couple options as far as the exit strategy. And so I will pull up a chart to show you what it looks like on the chart. These blue lines are your upper and lower bands and then the red line running through the middle is your moving average and what you're looking for on the buy side is when the price breaks this lower band it would execute a buy 
And then as that price moves up, you have an option to either take profit based on a percentage or when the price breaks the upper band. And so, for instance, in this situation, had you entered on um, the close of this candle, uh, breaking through the lower Bollinger Band, you could either take profit at a set percentage or when it breaks through. So it breaks through probably down in this area. So you'd make around a three or four percent profit. Or if you were shooting for like say a seven or eight percent profit, you'd have got to seven percent. You may not have gotten eight percent before it rolled over on you. But that is how the Bollinger Bands look on a chart. And that is how the strategy works with the breach of this lower band to buy. And then you can either sell on a percentage or the breach of the upper band. So let's get to configuring the actual strategy. Now we already picked the candle time frame of one hour. I need to select my moving average type and that will determine basically how this red line in the middle acts. And most of the time the default is the SMA. A lot of times you go with the EMA. I like to use the EMA quite a bit, but in this case, this strategy works best with the weighted moving average. Now the moving average period I have set at 10. Again, a lot of times that default is set at 20. Uh, and then the upper band deviation and the lower band standard deviation I have set at two uh, for each of them. And that is typically the default for those bands. We can now determine how we want the bot to actually take profit. And the optional is exit condition when profit target or stop loss is met or i can have it exit based on indicator confirmation and that confirmation would be the breach of the upper bollinger band in this case i want to set a profit target and a stop loss so for my profit target i've set 11 percent and for my stop loss i have set at five percent and that's basically a one to just over two risk versus reward ratio and i generally shoot for a one to three but a one to two is acceptable so that's pretty much it as far as configuration goes all of our settings are done we've given the bot 500 usdt and ammo so now we need to scroll up and do a quick back test so we click on the back test button We'll run it for one month and the back test has started. All right, the back test is finished and we're in the profit of just over 21%. Now keep in mind, back test results don't guarantee future results. You saw a total trades of 17 trades for the month. So there's not a whole lot of action with this particular bot, but it's still about a trade every other day. And we can scroll down and look at the chart not sure you'll be able to see the little green arrow down here but that indicates a buy from the breach of the bollinger band and then we end up selling up here at the top essentially with this red arrow and so we did end up capturing profit on this particular trade now if you've watched enough of my videos you know my position on a stop loss Basically, trading without a stop loss is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you're going to get killed. But for those of you who are curious, if I jack that up to 100%, it basically eliminates the stop loss. And we can run another back test and see what the results would be if we have no stop loss whatsoever. So I click start back test. It'll start another back test. And so the results are just over double in profit without a stop loss. Now keep in mind that is extremely risky and I would never recommend going into battle without a stop loss. And because you don't have a stop loss, you end up holding your trades a little longer. So you end up with 11 trades versus 17 trades. And again, keep in mind back test results don't guarantee future results. Now if we jump back over to parameters, we can run one last back test and see how the bot would perform based on the exit strategy of the indicator confirmation. And again, that would be when the price breaches the upper band. And so we click on back test, one month, start back test. All right, so the back test results are in based on 
indicator confirmation, and that did not score nearly as well as the actual take profit option. So jump back over to parameters. We'll switch the exit condition back to profit target and stop loss. We'll put our stop loss back in at five and the bot is now ready to deploy. And so let's put it to the live fire test. So I'm going to click on start live. It's going to confirm that it will use my Qcoin API keys and start live. And the bot has started live. It's initializing and that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to do a quick video since Quadency had updated a few of their bots and I will be doing an update video in the near future on how this bot is actually performing. So be sure to shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you like the video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Quadency in the description down below. And remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.